Why, you're going to pull those pistols and whistle Dixie. Well, if you don't know, then, then this is uh, BS. Crisis team, this is Corey. Hi. Can I get some help, please? Well, I'd certainly like to see what I can do to help you out. Who am I speaking with? Gary Redinger. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that name. Did you say Gary Redinger? Yes. Okay. Gary, what's going on? I sure would like to put an end to my life. I'm certainly sorry to hear that things have gotten to that point. <clears throat> have there been any specific triggers for that? Yes. Okay. Do you care to tell me a little bit about that? I just had a friend of mine. She called me from Arkansas, and she says, I'm going to wring your fucking neck. Okay. It's ruining my life. So this friend from Arkansas is ruining your life? Yes. Okay. We got along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Okay. <clears throat> Gary, well, real quick, in case we get disconnected, is there a number I can call you back at? The number is 909-595-2264. Okay. Okay. 909-525-2264? Well. Okay. And so, Gary, where are you at currently? Temple City. In Temple City? No. And what state is that in? Sitting or lying in the public ways. What does that mean? I'm not sure. I've been taking some kind of drugs or drinking. Okay. Yes. Do you know what you've been using? Yes. What have you been using? Scotch. Okay. Cocaine, methamphetamine. Uh, you know, there's a whole long list of them. Of drugs that you've been taking? Yes. Okay. So, Gary, just so that I'm clear, where are you at right now? I am for sitting or lying in the public ways. Okay. What city are you in, though? It's been a mystery to me. Okay. Do you know what state you're in? No. Okay. Are you currently safe? Excuse me? Are you currently sta safe? No. Okay. Why aren't you safe? I'm afraid of Gregory Stevens. You're afraid of Gregory Stevens? Yes. And who is that? That gentleman whose son never paid me. So... <clears throat> Are you in a safe location right now, though? I'm not sure. Are you still there, Gary? Yeah. Sorry, the phone cut out. You said you weren't sure if you're in a safe location? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me what's around you? Walnuts. Walnuts? Yes. Okay. Like as in walnut trees or actual walnuts? Yes. Walnut trees are around you? Yes. Are you in a building? No. So are you outside? Yes. Okay. Are you possibly in California? Yes. You are in California? No. Hollywood is in Southern California. Is that right? I'm sorry, what? Can you hear me? 
Wait, I didn't catch that last thing you said. Hollywood is in Southern California. Yeah, near Los Angeles. Okay. So, Gary, have you done anything to hurt yourself? Yes. What have you done? Cocaine, methamphetamine, uh, that's what it's all about. And did you use those drugs because you're wanting to die? Yes. Okay. I am pretty damn high. Okay. Should I call 911? Hi. Uh -huh. Should I contact 911 to get you some help? No, please. Okay. Well, but you called asking for help, right? You're talking to an old ex-felon with a firearm? You have a firearm on you? No. But you just said that you did. Well, that's not me. Okay. Who is that then? Gregory Stevens. Okay. Is Gregory Stevens near you? Yeah. Okay. Where's Where's Gregory mm -hmm. at? This is Gregory Stevens. Who's? I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time. So you're Gregory Stevens, or Gregory Stevens is with you? Yes. Gregory what Stevens. Do you mean? This is Gregory you, Stevens. Your name is Gregory? Yes. I thought you said your name was Gary. Wow. No, I did not. I thought you said your name is Gary Redinger. No. No. Your name is Gregory Stevens. No, that's not me. Who am I talking with? This is Miss Childs. Miss Childs? Yes. I'm 72. I don't know how old you are. Okay. Don't be well, so again, surprised. I want to be able to get you some help. Okay. Turn on the TV. Who are you talking to right now? I'm talking to my plant. Okay. Can I get that phone number to call you back at again? Do you remember he had the cockatoo on his shoulder? Can I go ahead and get you to verify that phone number with me again? What number are you calling from? 909-595-2264. Is this correct? So I'm sure that that, number, that that number belongs to the Walnut City Police Department. I, I, I don't know what that noise is. Are you calling from the police station? That's the number of the Walnut Jail. Okay. You can call and ask for the jailer, and you can ask him too. What's the, what jail. number are you calling from, though? I'm in jail. You're in jail? Yes. So how did you get this phone number? It's beyond my comprehension. Okay. Is this Gregory Stevens? No, you've called a crisis line. Wow. Who? You've called um, you've called Johnson County, Kansas, and you've called a mental health crisis line. Uh, I did. You did. Wow. <clears throat> so were you, were you arrested today? Yes. Okay, and what were you arrested for? Is this really happening? I don't, what do you mean? I got 25 years from doing bestiality. How could they possibly do this? 
Hello. So you were just you were just arrested today. Yes. But it sounds like you're in a safe place. No. What They're you killing me. Excuse me. What do you mean by that? How They're are you not safe in jail? They're okay. killing me and. Are you there? I'm. Just, the phone kept cutting out. You said what? They're killing me. They're killing you? Yes. How so? Excuse me? How so? What's going on? <clears throat> You're starting to make me wonder here. In what sense? Can you help me understand that? Is this Gregory Stevens? No, we've been over that. You've called a crisis line in Johnston County. Okay. Okay. I, I'd like to talk to Carrie. Who? I don't know who Carrie is. What? I, who's Carrie? I'm not sure. You go to sleep. Initially, and then it was this. Again, so um, help me understand what it is that you're hoping I might be able to do. Do you hear I'm talking in the background? I do hear you talking in the background. Are you talking to someone else? Gregory Stevens. You're talking to Gregory Stevens. Yes. So again, help me understand who I'm talking to right now. My name is Fred Gordon Herbert. Fred Gordon, Fred Gordon Harper? Because I'm Mexican? Because Hello. you're Mexican? Yes. <clears throat> okay. So Fred, again, help me understand. See? Um, Tell me again what it is that you're hoping that I might be able to do to help you out. <clears throat> can you hear me? I can hear you. But again, no, tell sure. me what it is that you're hoping I might be able to do to help you out. Sounds like you're currently in jail, that you're arrested yes. today. Yes. Okay. So what are you hoping that I'm going to be able to do to help you? I sure would like to put an end to my life. Can I get some okay. help, please? And what kind of help would that look like? AK-47. Okay, well, I'm Please. unable to provide you with an AK-47. Why not? Because I don't have access to that, and that's not my goal here. My goal is to help to help you get some help. I'll give you $500? Please. I, and again, that's not something that I can do. Why are you Why are you doing this? You called me asking for help, and so I'm trying to get you some help. My goal is to keep people alive. You called me. I did not call you. Wow. You called this number, right? Is this Gregory Stevens? No, this is not Gregory Stevens. Okay, Gregory Stevens. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. I'm not in and charge. And again, I apologize, but I don't know who Gregory Stevens is. Okay. I'm sick. So again, oh. it sounds like something like I'd like to be able to get you some help. So are you in jail currently? <clears throat> yes. And you're with the Walnut City Police Department in the Walnut City Jail? Yeah. So is there someone nearby you that I'd be able to talk to? My plant. Oh. What about, what about a person? Is there a person near you that I might be able to talk to? No. No? He's not here. 
Okay. But you're telling me you're you're in jail, so aren't there other people around? Yes. So may I talk to someone? And they claim he's not there. Hello? And again, so I'm, I'm trying to understand how I might be able to help you. Are you looking at my ad right now? What ad would I be looking at? Bell Bunch. I'm a bail bondsman. You're a bail bondsman? Yes. I'm Fred Herbert, and I'm a bail bondsman. You're Fred Harper, and you're a bail, bail bondsman. Well, when did your brother, you want to bail your brother out, when did he get arrested? Hello? And again, I don't know the answer to that. Why are you so mad at me? I'm not mad at you. Okay. I'm trying to understand how I might be able to assist you. I'm sorry, this is who? Again, you have called a crisis line in Johnson County, Kansas. Okay. Hi, Fred. Hello? Is there someone that I might be able to call for you to get you some help? Yeah. A friend, a friend, a family member, someone? Yes. Who would that be? Gregory Stevens. Do you have a phone number for Gregory Stevens? Yes. Would you provide that to me so I can reach out to him? The number is 909-3850-105. I'm going to have to have you repeat that to me because it was cutting in and out. 909... 909-595-2264. That's the number that you gave me to call you back. What's the number to reach Gregory Stevens? You're... Um, is, is this really you? So, Hello? Fred, what's a, Fred, what's a good number for me to reach Gregory at? What? What's a good number for me to reach Gregory at? I'm not sure. Okay. Is there someone that you know their phone number that we might be able to contact to get you some help? Hang on just a second. Okay. Hello? I'm still here. Were you talking to someone else? This is Dan. This is who? Dan. Dan? Come over here. Okay. Are you with Fred? Yeah. Okay. Can you help me understand what's going on? He's contacted a crisis line in Kansas. Really? Yeah. Who? He's called a crisis line out of Kansas? No way. This is a business. Okay. So who is, is – was Fred on the phone? Is Fred – does Fred work there? Yes. He's an employee? Fred Drover? Yes. Okay. And so what business is this? Bail bond. A bail bondsman? Yes. Okay. 
Do you have any understanding why Fred would have called a crisis line in Kansas? No way. I'm not doing anything. Okay. Well, Fred called asking for some help. This so is we're just Fred. trying to figure out things. This is Fred. Fred's on the phone now? Fred? Yes. Say hi, Fred. Hello? Can you, help, can you help me understand who else is on the phone right now? Gregory Stevens. David okay. Maloney. Yep. Homer Scott. Oh, Madman Munch. So, Fred, you got somebody else on the phone who said that this was a business. It was a bail bondsman business. Is Dan. This is Dan, and Dan, you're still on the phone? Yes. Okay. Well, who give you this fucking phone to court? Wow. Why are you so mad at me? Okay. So, is Dan able to get you some help, Fred? No. He's not here. He's what? He's not here. Well, what happened to him? I've been, I, I've, I've, uh, been a mystery to me. It's a mystery to you what happened to Dan? Yes. Okay, but I thought he was just on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Where are so you right now? So you're calling from a bail bondsman? Yes. Are you in jail? Are you in jail? Yes. Can I get some help, please? Hello? Is there a Dan still on the phone? No. Okay. He's not here. So did you call Dan? Yes. And what number did you use to call Dan? I've been, I, I've, I've, uh, I'm not sure. Let me look him up here. Okay, hang on a moment. Hang on. So I have to build a little house to get the property. You still see them out there, little shacks. And then they had to make a roof. Well, a, 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 a company that used to melt the Hello? streets down, back they were oh, in no. Ontario, had been going out that way on that railroad route. What the yeah, fuck you call you here for, you son of a bitch? For what? I don't know. And the train derailed. And so here's a big oh, pile of license house. plates from DMV, and they're all from the 30s, laying out in the desert. So those people would take them, and they'd make their roof out of them. Like hey, Dan? Piles, so, and then sprayed them Hello? over. Hi, uh, my name is Rob McDougall. Um, I work here at Johnson County Mental Health in Johnson County, Kansas, and I'm, I've come over with, with Corey to try to help problem solve. Okay. Can you tell me what's going on? Are you calling this number here? This is a business. I'm okay, I'm, I'm, we're not calling. We, we've been called from this number, and it's come up as anonymous, and we're trying to figure out what's going on. Who, who am I Hello. speaking with? Hello? This is Fred. Hi, Fred. My Fred, this is Rob Fred. from Jones Canyon Middle Hope. What, what can we do for you? I'm sorry, this is who? My name is Rob is with Johnson Canyon Mental Health. I've, I've come over with a with person that was uh, speaking with, with you previously to try to help problem solve what's going on. We're pretty confused on our end and, and trying to figure out how we can best help you. I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Okay. Do you need help with anything right now? Yes. What do you need help with? I just had a friend of mine, she called me from Arkansas and 
She says, I'm going to wring your fucking neck. These are the calls I'm getting constantly. These are the phone calls that you're getting constantly? Yes. Is there any way that you can uh, maybe not a- not answer calls coming from that particular line? You think no. that might help? No. I'm a bell bondsman. Okay. It's ruined well, my life. Fred, what's your last name? My name is Fred Gordon Herbert. Fred Gordon Herbert. Okay. And and why are you calling us, Fred? I just told you. Because of the bothersome calls that you're getting from uh, somebody in Arkansas? Yes. Okay. I sure would um, like to put an end to it. Yeah, and that's that's like that sounds like it would be pretty frustrating to get the sorts of phone calls. Um, but that's that's not something that we at a, at a community mental health center in Kansas can can have any sort of impact in terms of you know having somebody not call you or getting somebody to, to not call you one, one way or the other. I sure would like to put an end to my life. Uh, can you say that again? Hello. Hi. Is this Fred? Can you hear me? I am having a bit of a hard time hearing you. Is this Gregory Stevens? No, Hello? I'm afraid this is not Gregory Stevens. Who am I calling, sir? Hi, Fred. This is Rob McDougal with Johnson County Mental Health. I, I think you've been on the phone for a little while with um, oh, about 25, 30 minutes with um, one of my, my coworkers, and we're trying to figure out how, how best to help you and feel like we're going around in circles. Um, you, you've given a, a phone number that, uh, to reach you back at, and that's a phone number for a sheriff's department out in California. I'm not sure how else at this point that, that we can be of any help, unless you can give do- us some more specific information. I'm not doing your good. Are you what? I'm sick. You're talking to an older gentleman here who doesn't hear it that well, and you're speaking in a <clears throat> okay. Where are you located? Hello. What city and state are you located in? 147 North Euclid Avenue in Upland. Can you say that one more time? Hello? Can you say that one more time? Here's Dan. Hi, Dan. 14413 Telegraph Road. 14413 what? Telegraph Road. Telegraph Road? Yes. And what city and state? Who? What city and state? California. Hello? Do you hear I'm talking in the background? Uh, I've I've heard some different talking, yes. I have I've got an address of one four four one three Telegraph Road. I'm in with you. You're who? Whittier. Whittier Road? Telegraph Road. I'm in Whittier. In what, what state? California. Whittier, California? Is yeah. Spell, how is Whittier spelled? I'm not sure. <clears throat> You're not sure? Gordon. Are you in Upland, California? No. Where are you? I'm in Whittier. Whittier what? Whittier. How do you spell Whittier? Who? How do you spell Whittier? Hello. Okay, I'm going to go ahead at this point and um, and hang up the phone. Okay, if you need emergency assistance, I'm going to. I strongly encourage you to go ahead and dial nine one one. Okay. 
you and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Okay. So can can you go ahead and do that if you need further help to go ahead and dial 911? Do you want to give me your name and number, and I'll give it to the police? Uh, my name is Rob McDougal. And my phone number is 913-826-4077. And you're, you're certainly welcome to give that to the police. The FBI really needs to be called on this. Okay. Yeah, I would I would start with uh, calling 911 if you feel like you need further help, okay? Okay, Gregory Stevens. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, this is the Crisis Center. How can we help you? Hi. Hi. My name is Fred Herbert. Your name is what? I sure would like to put an end to my life. I'm having a hard time hearing you. How can we help you here at the Crisis Center today? Can you hear me? Yes, uh huh. Let's start this again. I sure would like to put an end to my life. Okay. What's, what's going on that makes you feel like you'd like to put an end to your life? I just had a friend of mine, she called me from Arkansas, and she says, I'm going to wring your fucking neck. Okay, well, what happened with your friend? It's been a mystery to me. We got along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Mm -hmm. It's ruining my life. <clears throat> That's what it is. And have you had difficulty with this friend in the past? Yes. Constantly. Okay. Okay. Do you have um, other friends? No. Okay. So this has been kind of your, your one, one friend and you're having a hard time with her. Yes. Okay. Are you a patient of Calm Care? No. Okay. All right. Well, what is your name and date of birth, sir? My name is Fred Gordon Herbert. January 23rd, 1961. Okay. All right. And Mr. Herbert, would you be interested in maybe coming in and talking with, of our, with one of our crisis therapists today? No. Okay. What do you feel like would be most helpful? I am sitting or lying in the public ways. I've been. I've had thirteen drinks today. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Where did you say you are? Sitting or lying in the public ways. Okay. And how do you spell your last name? S-C-O-T-T? Excuse me? Is it H-E-C-E-R-T? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where are you at right now, Fred? I just told you. you. Well, you you told me something, but I I didn't get an exact location. Turn on the TV. Are you on the TV right now? Yes. I don't have TV here at work. Wow. Give me a little bit of idea. What? Are you? With police officers right now, or where are you at? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm 72. I don't know how old you are. I'm a little bit, a little bit younger than that, Mr. Stewart. <clears throat> no, have you ever called our crisis line before? Constantly. I'm not finding you in our system at all. Have you ever come here to visit us? Yes. Okay. Spell your last name for me one more time, please. M-A-L-O-N-Y. And there's no life alert. Your name is Fred Maloney? 
Yes. Okay, I thought you said it was Hubert. Wow. No, I did not. Okay. Well, that's not me. What was that? That's not me. That's not you? No, that's not me. Okay, who who is you? This is Miss Childs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you see my friend? Who, who is your friend? Do you remember he had the clock on his shoulder? What was that? Robert Roberto Camacho Melgoza. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. Why? So where, where are you at right now? Sitting or lying in the public ways. Hi, Fred. Are you are you on a on a road somewhere? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you in your vehicle or are you just lying on the road? Sitting or lying. Mm-hmm. Does anybody see you on the road? No. No. Okay. Is is it a busy road or or no? No. Not a busy road. You think it's because I'm Mexican? You feel like you're executed? Yes. Okay. Now, wh why would we need to turn on the TV? Well, then I'm not. Well, if you don't know, then then this is uh, BS. Would I see you if I turned on the TV? Yes. Yes? Okay. So do you have some TV stations that are out there filming you? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Thanks. How could they possibly do this? I can look it up. Well, 11. Channel 11? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'm on YouTube. That we had a channel 11. Excuse me? I wasn't aware that we had a channel 11. I'm on YouTube. You're on YouTube as well. Yes. Okay. All right. What website do you have up? Well, I tried to look on cake.com, but I don't see anything regarding you being on the road anywhere. But they may just be a little slow getting it on there. How could they possibly do this? I don't know. I don't have any idea. So is your first name Fred or well, what is your first name? My name is Fred Herbert. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I'm Fred or Yeah. Okay. I'm Fred Herbert and I'm a bell bondsman. You're Fred Herbert and you're a bell bondsman. Yes. Okay. I'm on YouTube and they prank call me all the time. It's ruining my life. Okay. Well, is there something that we can do to help you? Are you are you safe on the road? Are you trying to harm yourself? Yes. You are safe? No. You are not safe? No. Okay. Well, do you know what road that you're on so that maybe I can get somebody out there to help you? It's been a mystery to me. It's, it's a mystery to you? Okay. Do you, do you see anything that's around you that might be a landmark for me to know? Uh, 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 um, Gregory Stevens. What was that? Gregory Stevens. I didn't understand that first part. Gregory Stevens. Gregory Stevens. 
Yes. Is that your name? Uh huh. Your name is Gregory Stevens. Yes. What do you see out there where you're at? Walnut. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can figure out who's doing this, we'd sure like to get rid of them. They've been doing this to us for several years now. Yeah, it sounds like you are having a lot of difficulty with these people. What What do you imagine that we could do to maybe put a stop to this? Because I'd like to be able to help you. I sure would like to put an end to my life. Yeah? Yes. Now, you talked about a friend from Arkansas. Can you tell me a little bit more about what happened with that situation? Yes. Hang on, LeVar. What was that? Never been arrested before. Okay, good. I'm not doing anything. They're okay. killing me. I'm on YouTube, and they prank call me all the time. These are the calls I'm getting constantly. Okay. Well, I'm sure that's very frustrating. Yes. I'm not making them. And there's no life alert. There's no life alert. No. You're talking to my plant. You have a plant there with you? Yes. And his name is Homer Scott? Homer Scott? Yes. Okay. He's sick. Your, your plant is sick? Yes. Okay. What happened with it? I'm getting nothing. It's beyond my comprehension. So you have a plant named Homer. Yes. You have a friend from Arkansas who is upset with you. Yes. And you're a bail bondsman. Yes. There's a lot of things in life that don't make sense. They're okay. killing my plant. Okay. So what are they doing to kill the plant? They're calling law enforcement and really screwing things up, you know, and reporting fake crimes. And tell me again what, what, what your location is. Sitting or lying in the public ways. Sitting or lying in the public ways. Okay, thank you. That's what it's all about. What website do you have up? Well, I tried cake.com, and unfortunately, they did not have your picture posted as a No. Event. No. So I'm on YouTube. Thanks for that. Unfortunately, uh, here working at the crisis center, we are not allowed to look on YouTube. Otherwise, I would have done that. Wow. How could they possibly do this? I know. I know. So, now you said something about being on the road. Did, did you figure out which road that you're on? No. No, I did not. I've been taking some kind of drugs or drinking. Okay. I've been, I've had 13 drinks today. I'm single, so I can get away with it. Okay, you've had what today? Scotch. You've had some scotch today. Okay. <clears throat> My plant is but killing me. Are you still there? <clears throat> okay, there you are. Yes. Okay. Well, it sounds like you really care about your plant. Yes. So what, what did you say your name is? Excuse me? 
I'm sorry, what did you say your name is? Gregory Stevens. Gregory Stevens. Okay. You guys are... <clears throat> is it is it nice outside right now? No. Not so good. Okay. So are you feeling pretty intoxicated? Yes. Yes. Do you drink on a regular basis? Yes. Okay. Have you called our crisis line before? Uh-huh. And what, what was your name when you called then? Earl Madman Munch. Okay. Okay. Well, I have someone here who is associated with being able to kind of look things up on YouTube in a different manner, so I'm going to have you talk with her, if you could hold on for just a moment. Okay. Are you there, sir? Hi. Okay. Well, something happened with that. Hold on just a second. Who's this? This is the same person. I'm going to get you over to our YouTube specialist. One moment, please. Okay. This is Helen. Hi. Well, hello. I said hi. How are you doing today? Not so good. Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I, I heard you have some stuff going on on YouTube. Hello? Are you there? Yes. Okay, can you hear me better now? Yes. Okay, so tell me about this YouTube. I'm on YouTube and they prank call me all the time. Oh, YouTube does? Or people that are finding it on YouTube? No. Yes. What do they What do they say when they prank call you? I've got your phone number, and I'm going to wring your fucking neck. Oh wow, that's not good. These are the calls I'm getting constantly. I'm so sorry to hear that. That has to be very frustrating. Yes. I sure would yeah. like to put an end to it. Right. How long have you been getting those phone calls for? Two years? That's a long time. Have you thought of changing your phone number? No. I'm a bell okay. man. Okay. How long have you been mm -hmm. a bell man for? Excuse me? How long have you been a bell man for? I'm not sure. I'm 72. Okay, so you've probably been in the business for a long time. Yes. Do you enjoy your work? Do you enjoy your work? No. No. You have a tough job. I get these calls all day long from uh, a prankster. And we've contacted the Upland Police Department about them doing this on our lines. Wow. Well, I mean, I don't know how many people are are uh, prank calling us. It's ruining my life. And the police haven't been able to do anything about it either. No. I sure would like to put it into my whole life. Um, what police department have you been calling? Police department. You live here in Wichita? Yes. Okay, so just the Wichita Police Department? Yes. Yeah. What else is going on with you today? What? What have you been doing today? Cocaine, methamphetamine. Uh... Yes. I am pretty damn high. You're pretty damn high? Yes. Okay. This is what I do all day. 
Gotcha. Every day. Every day. Do you enjoy it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> My coworker said that she thought you were sitting outside on a street corner or something. Sitting or lying in the public ways. What's the public ways? Hello? Can you tell me first? Can you tell me what the public ways are? Well, then, uh, if you don't know, then then this is uh, BS. <clears throat> are you there? Yeah, why are you sitting or lying in the public ways? I'm not sure. What'd you say? Why? Yeah. I have no idea. <clears throat> what can we do to help you today? I sure would like to put it into my life. Well, I would like to be able to help you so that doesn't happen. Why are you doing this? I want to help you. Okay. Is this really happening? Huh? Is what really ha is what really happening? Who am I calling, sir? You are calling Comcare. Is this Gregory Stevens? No, this is Comcare. Wow. So what's going on? Not a whole lot today. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn on the TV, please. I don't have a TV in here, but is there something I can Google? Yes. What is that? Fred Herbert. Yeah, what, what do you want me to Google? Fred Herbert. Say that one more time. Can you hear me? Yeah, what did you want me to Google? Google bestiality. Well, I, don't think I, should, I don't think I should Google that on our, on our work computer. Why? Why do you want me to Google that? Why do you want me to Google bestiality? Well, if you don't know, then, then this is uh, BS. I got 25 years from doing bestiality. The FBI is in the middle of an investigation. Okay. It's ruining my life. They have websites. They keep track of stuff. I, I have people that go on those websites and then call me. Right. I'm on YouTube. What can I put? How do I find you on YouTube? Excuse me? How can I find you on YouTube? My name is Fred Herbert. Fred Herbert? Yes. I'm going to be here. <clears throat> and this is where you're getting all the bad calls from? Yes. Okay. Have you ever been to Comcare before? Yeah. Have you ever been to Comcare before? No. Would you be willing to come in here and talk to somebody? No. No? Are you looking at my ad right now? There's a lot of different ones that pop up. Which is the one that's your ad? Is it Fred Herbert is back? Yes. Go ahead. This is something they recorded on for me a couple of years ago. So 
it keeps, I don't have good enough reception in here, but I will definitely take a look at that. Okay. How could they possibly do this? I don't know why they're doing that to you. I'm sorry. And they're probably recording us right now, adding to their uh, stuff. Well, because this goes on all the time. <clears throat> Are you there? Yes, I'm listening to you. So what can okay. we do to help you today, Fred? I just told you. What's that? I sure would like to put it into my life. Can I get some help, please? Yeah, would you be willing to come down here and talk to us? No. Well, how do you want us to help you then? Come to my office. Okay, well, where's your office at? 147 North Euclid Avenue. How do you spell the, is the U, which one, can you spell that for me? It's been a mystery to me. Hello? Yeah, can you spell, can you spell that for me? Did you see my friend? No, His sorry. name is Homer Scott. Do you remember that he had the cockatoo on his shoulder? What's your what's your address? Four thirty five oh. West Mission. Well you gave me a different one a little bit ago. That's not me. Well that's not me. That's a recording that's going on. Hello? Yeah, what is your address again? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. 435 oh. West Mission. Is this Gregory Stevens? Hello? What's your phone number? The number is 909-595-2264. Is, is this really you? Is this really you? Gregory Stevens. No, nope, this isn't Gregory Stevens. Okay. Who's this? The YouTube specialist. Wow. All right. All right. Are you in California? Yes. See the big red letters that say bell bonds and the neon clock in the window? Yeah, the which one? Excuse me? Are you currently in California right now? I'm not sure. It's beyond my comprehension. So your address is 435 West Mission? Yes. What city is that? Vista. Vista, California? Yes. You guys are, they're killing me in the, hello? That's a recording. Do you hear I'm talking in the background? I can't hear that in the background, no. Wow. And they claim he's not there. <clears throat> I'm wondering what you're you're doing. We're just waiting to see how we can help you. How about a t-shirt? I don't know what sizes are. Still, I think. You don't know what? Do you have a boyfriend? Not single, so. 
I do. Uh huh. What's his name? Charles. Spell that. Hello. His name is what? C H A R L E S. Charles. What's, what's, your, your da- what's your date of birth? What's his date of birth? What's your date of birth? Nineteen sixty-one. Are you at your office right now, or are you at this other West Mission address? I'm not sure. What's his date of birth? How old is he? 828 of 68. Okay. Where is he? So let's, let's talk about you for a little bit, okay? No. Why? I want to talk about you. This is regarding Charles? Give me no, some more information. Give me so some more you, information. Is the FBI still investigating you? Yes. Constantly. So bestiality? Yes. And they're probably okay. recording us right now, adding to their... Uh, stuff. I sure would like to put an end to it. You want to put an end to what? The FBI. How would you? How would you do that, Fred? How would you put an end to them? I've got a firearm. What kind do you have? AK forty-seven. (laughs) <laughs> are you friends are you friends with Fred? Yeah. Are you friends with Fred? Yes. Did he help you get out of jail? Yes. What is what is Fred calling you? Excuse me? What does Fred call you? What name does he use to for you? Walnut. Beast. He does call you what? Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right, homie. I have Earl Rogers. Are you on the internet right now? Yes. I'm on YouTube. Constantly. Do you think it's because I'm Mexican? Huh? Who who is they? Yeah, we don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just some sick motherfucker on the phone. Waiting for their site to come up here. Do you need us to call the law enforcement if you're having a hard time to help no. you? No. Well, we just want to make sure you're safe. No, please. Did you say your number was 909-595-2264? Yes. That's the number of the Walnut Jail. You can call and ask for the jailer, and you can ask him, too. We need to make sure you're safe. Okay. I am sitting or lying in Trump Towers. Okay. Well, good luck to you, okay? Excuse me? Good luck to you, okay? we got to get going to answer some other calls. Why are you so mad at me? Hello? Okay, we'll talk to you later. You and I have gotten <laughs> along fine, and I don't know why this is happening.
First call, this is Marissa. Hi. Hello? I said hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Can I get some help, please? What what kind of help are you looking for? I sure would like to put an end to my life. Sorry, you cut out for a second there. What did you say? Can you hear me? I can now, yes. I sure would like to put an end to my life. So when you say the la- when you when you say you'd like to put it into something and then it cuts out. I just had a friend of mine. She called me from Arkansas and she says I'm going to wring your fucking neck. Oh no! Why is she so angry? It's beyond my comprehension. Oh dear. I apologize. I didn't catch your name. Mr. Stanville. Mr. Stanville. Thomas Stanville. All right. So are you, are you feeling particularly upset, distressed yes. about what this friend said? Yes. Okay. That's understandable. We got along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Hmm, yeah. You don't know? You have no idea why she's so upset? No. Hmm. Um, it's been a mystery I, to me. Yeah. How long has she been upset? Two days ago. Okay. So that's when she called and said she was going to wring your neck? Yes. And you haven't talked to her since? No. No. Have you tried to give her a call? Constantly. Constantly. And she's just not answering? Hmm. Do you know anybody? Are you worried about kind of her well-being? Are you worried that she might not be safe? Yes. Okay. Next felon with a firearm. You said she has firearms? Yes. Oh, dear. Does, is there anybody that she lives with or lives nearby that could check in on her? Yes. Could you try calling them? Uh, I did. You did? Did you get a hold of them? No, I did not. I see. Okay. Um, do you have do you have this person's address in Ar- Arkansas? No. No, you don't. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's tricky. Because if you don't have her address, I was going to suggest that you could you could ask the local police to do a, you know, a welfare check. Or has she ever made many statements about hurting herself or hurting somebody else? Yes. She has. Besides, you know, saying to you that she was going to wring your neck, what, what kinds of statements has she made? Well, because this goes on all the time. Mm-hmm. AK-47, concealed oh, firearm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm calling somebody to put an end to you. You're calling somebody to put an interview? No. These are the calls I'm getting constantly. Oh, you've been getting calls. What kinds of calls have you been getting? Excuse me? What kind? You said you've been getting calls? For her harassing phone calls. From the this friend of yours? Yes. Okay. But you said you hadn't heard from her for a couple of days. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So so maybe the harassing phone calls have stopped? Yes. Okay. So is that maybe that's a good thing if the harassing phone calls have stopped? Uh, 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 it's been a mystery to me. Mhm. How do you think that that first call can help you today? Excuse me. How do you think that we that we so you called first call, which is the the crisis line, and I'm curious how how can first call assist you today? 
I sure would like to put it into my life. Yeah, you said that before, and I'm not sure what that means. Well, if you don't know, then then this is uh, BS. Oh, well, it, it, no, just that statement of I um, would like to put this into my life, that, that statement confuses me a little bit. You're talking to an older gentleman here who doesn't hear it that well, and... I see. I apologize. A, I'm 72. Mhm. Mm yep. What's your fr your friend's name in Arkansas? Carrie. Carrie. And how old is Carrie? 61. Mhm. Mm in age. Mhm. Mm sure. Um, so are you, you're worried, sounds like you're partially worried about her safety, but at the same time you don't want her to be calling and harassing you. Yes. Okay. Well, I sure would like to know, put an end to it. You'd like to put an end to it? Put an end to what? Carrie. You want to put an end to Carrie? Yes. Oh, you mean her calling you, or what do you mean by putting an end to her? Well, because this goes on all the time. Meaning her calling you? Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've got a uh, firearm. You've got a firearm? Yes. Oh, okay. Are you saying that you want to use the firearm to hurt somebody? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Thomas, where do you live? 147 North Euclid Avenue. Sorry, say that again, North what? Hello? Hi, you cut out from time to time. I'm sorry. Can you, you hear 147, me? 147 North what? Vista. North Vista? Yes. Avenue? Yes. In what town? Temple City. What state is that in? I'm not sure. You're, sorry, you're not sure what? It's been a mystery to me. What's, what state do you live in, sir? And one more time. I'm sorry, I didn't catch which state you live in. Bel Air. Did you say Bel Air? Yes. Okay. That's so what, what it is. Belmont. Yeah, you've been cut, you've been cutting out a lot, and it's it's hard to hear everything that you're saying. I'm only getting certain words. Belmont. Are you are you having thoughts of hurting yourself, Thomas? Yes. Yes. You are. Constantly. And constantly, and. When you think about hurting yourself, do you do you have something in mind, like a way that you would hurt yourself? Yes. And what does that look like? Sitting or lying in the public ways. In the public ways. What do you mean by that? Well, if you don't know, then, then this is uh, BS. Oh, oh, I'm sorry you feel you feel that way. Thomas, can I get your phone number? The number is 909-595-2264. Okay. Do you live in the state of Vermont? No, I did not. No, you don't. What state do you live in? Vista. I guess I'm Hello? not quite sure. I guess I'm not quite sure 
how to help you. I feel like I'm only getting bits and pieces of information here. I've been I've had thirteen drinks today. You've had thirteen what? Scotch. Okay, so you've had a lot to drink. It's ruining my life. What's ruining your life? I ran into a uh, tree. You ran into a tree? Is that what you said? Yes. Oh, when you were driving your car? Yes. Were you injured? Yes. How were you injured? Neck. You hurt your neck? Did you go to the hospital? Yes. You did. Are you at the hospital now? Uh-huh. Is there a doctor that I could speak with? Yes. What's your doctor's name? Steenerson. Here, sir, I'm going to put you on a brief hold for just a second. No. Okay, I'm back. Are you still there? What? Okay, sorry about that wait. Um, I was asking if, if you said you're at the hospital, correct? Yes. What's the name of the hospital? Belvinch. Can you say that again, please? Walnut. What What city or, or town is that in? Walnut. And what did you say your doctor's name was? Steenerson. Is there, do you have any family with you right now? Yes. Who, who's with you? My plant. Could you say that again? I didn't hear that. You're talking to my plant. Did you say you're talking to your plant? Yes. Okay. And his name is Homer Scott? Hello? What state did you say that you're in? And they claim he's not there. They claim who is not there. Do you hear him talking in the background? No, I can't hear anybody but you. Who? The only person I can hear is you. All right. What's your question? So I'm trying to figure out where you're located so I can figure out how to best help you. Why? Because I'm not sure that you're within the area that this crisis service is able to help. So I'm trying to put you in touch with the right service providers. Why are you so mad at me? I'm not angry. I'm just trying to figure out how to best help you. Okay. Turn on the TV. Is there anybody in the room with you that I could speak with? My plant. What's the nearest police station? Copeland Police Department. What police department? Police department. I'm sorry, you cut out again. I didn't catch the name of the police department. Copeland Police Department. Are you in California? Yes. You are? I'm in Upland. And what's the name of the hospital that you're at? Walnut. Well. I'm looking that up on the computer so I can try to figure out where you are located. What website do you have up? Can, sorry, can you say that again? 
What website do you have up? I haven't brought anything up yet. I'm still trying to trying to do a search. Do you have any family that we could talk with? No. No. He's not here. Do you have a phone number uh, that we of any family that we could call? I just told you. The number is 909-595-2264. But I thought that was your phone number. Uh-huh. What's his name? What's whose name? Do you hear him talking in the background? No, I don't. I don't hear anybody in the background. I'm sorry. Wow. My computer was talking to me. I, I, I don't understand why you're, I'm doing this. You don't understand why, why I'm doing this? Yes. Why I'm doing what? What? You don't understand why I'm doing what. I'm just trying to find out where you are. I'm having a hard time understanding where you are. Is, is this really you? Hi, um, I'm calling from a mental health crisis line. So you said, you said you're at the hospital. Have you been treated for injuries? They provided me with phone number. I'm just wondering if you Hang on. Hello? 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 Hi. 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 Hello
Gregory Stevens. Gregory Stevens? Yes. What's Gregory's phone number? 320-2279. Yes. Would it be okay if I call, you said his name was Gregory Stevens? Yes. It's okay if I call Gregory and ask him if he can check in on you? Uh huh. And could, and could I get your phone number one more time so I can call you back if I need to? Do you remember he had the cockatoo on his shoulder? I, you said he had a cockatoo on his shoulder? Yes. Hmm. I didn't know Gregory that. Gregory Stevens? Yeah, that looks interesting. So can I yeah. get your phone number one more time in case I need to call back? The number is 909-595-2264. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to call Gregory and ask him if he can check on you, okay? All right. Thank you, Thomas. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Thank you for calling 800 No Cuffs. This is Cynthia. How may I help you? Hi. Can I get some help, please? Yes, how can I help you? I need to talk to a lawyer. Okay, and in, in regard to what, sir? Aggravated sexual assault with a child under the age of 14. That's what you're charged with? Yes. I'm sorry it happened. Okay. okay, let me just gather a little bit of um, information, and I'll see if one of the attorneys is available. Okay. May I ask, first of all, how you heard about us? I've looked at it online. Online? Okay, like a Google search? Yes. Okay, let's see here. And what is your name, please? David Maloney. M-A-L-O-N-E? M-A-L-O-N-Y. Oh, I thank you. And what is your telephone number, please, David? 310-864-1000. Okay. Do you have an email address you'd like me to note down? No. Okay. I have telephone number 310-878-8997. And what was your arrest date? Excuse me? Were you arrested? Yes. Okay. When the was your arrest date? The FBI is in the middle of an investigation. January 23rd. Of this year? Yes. County. Walnut. Walnut County? Yes. Okay, let's see here. So, Walnut's in Los Angeles. Los Angeles County? Yes. Court date scheduled or not, nothing yet? On the 22nd. 22nd of May? Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. I'm going to place you on a quick hold, and I will see if someone's available for you to speak with. Give me one moment, please. Okay. Hey, David, this is Cynthia. How are you? Hi. Not so good. Can I get some help, please? Yeah, I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. For sure. Um, David, are you, uh, you're over 21, I guess? Yes. You're talking okay. to an older gentleman here. Got it. All right. Well, yes, I'd be more than happy to help you in any way I can. My name is Cynthia Fisher, and uh, I'm the attorney at Kavanaugh Law. 
my assistant said that unfortunately you had a little issue on in January. So what I'd like to do is have an opportunity to chat with you in great detail about what happened confidentially, and then we can talk about remedies, how this works, what we can do, and how we can help you get this uh, dealt with. Sometimes these things come up, issues that aren't true and are strange, um, you know, issues like that. So I'm more than happy to chat with you about how this works and, and how we can help you. Okay. Sound like it works? Yes. David, are you on th at, at 310-878-8997? Yes. Okay. Do me a favor, hang on just one second. Let me, let me, I have to clear the other line and then you and I can kind of get into the guts of what's going on and see how we can help, okay? Okay. Thank you. David, thank you so much. You there? Hi. Yes. David? Hi. Yeah. So, David, did, tell me, um, which court are they sending you to? I'm not sure. Come on it. Your phone's cutting out a little bit. Can you hear me? Yeah, I heard you say, can you hear me, but that's all I heard. All right. It's so I'm going to ask you a couple quick questions just to get a kind of a foundational view of what we're looking at, and then I'm going to have you kind of tell me the story of what's going on. Does that sound like it works? Okay. Okay. Which court are they sending you to? It's a Pomona, Jill. Pomona. And the court date is May 22nd? Yes. Okay. What are the charges, the penal code that they're charging you with? Aggravated sexual assault with a child under the age of 14. Do you know the penal code? No. Did they give you a ticket or a bail slip? No. Did you bail out? No. Have, were you, okay. Why don't you tell me what's going on? I had sex with a minor. When was that? I'm sorry, it happened. Excuse me? Pardon me? What did you say? I said, did you get arrested? Yes. And did you go to jail? Yes. That happened on January 23rd? Yes. And when you went to jail, did you have to post bail to be released, or did they release you on your own recognizance? Uh-huh. The bail's $5,000. Uh -huh, so it's 50000 Yes. I'm just asking questions, David, so I can figure out what's going on and how I can best serve you and help you. Okay. So that's why I'm asking the questions. Okay? I'm not trying to get, you know, pry into your private business, but I'm an attorney, and in order for me to create an iron shield between you and the court and you in criminal prosecution, I need to know behind that iron shield confidentially and privately what happened. All right. And that's why I'm asking you questions. And once I kind of get an idea of what happened, then I can tell you, okay, this is what I think we can do. It's kind of like me and you on the same football team, and I'm a quarterback. So I'm trying to figure out the lay of the land, what the other team is going to do, and then I'm developing a strategic plan to get in and run it through to the to the end so you can go home. Okay. You follow me? No. Does that make sense? Yes. Pardon? It does. Yes. Okay. So that's why I'm asking questions. I'm not trying to be, you know, a, an interloper or pry into your private affairs. So when what when the police arrested you, what happened? They came to the house. Did they call you? Tell me the story of what happened and what's been going on, and and I want to know what the scoop is. Then I can yeah. best advise you on what I think we can do to help you. The FBI is in the middle of an investigation. They have websites. They keep track of stuff. I, I have people that go on those websites and then call me. 
Are you? Do you have any prior criminal history? Have you ever been arrested for this before or cited? Never been arrested before. Okay. And have you ever been under investigation before? No. Okay, good. And David, what do you do? Are you, um, do you work in, in plumbing or electrician or real estate or what do you do? I'm a bail bondsman. You're a bail bondsman. Okay. Yeah. For which company? Herbert Bellbines. Cool. <clears throat> so, has this been, so, so anyway, the FBI was investigating you. Did they call you, just come to your house? What, what happened? How did this, how did this occur? I had sex with a minor. Okay. When was that? January 23rd, Sorry? 2004. Okay, and that was the only time? Yes. I'm sorry it happened. And it was January 20th. I hear yet, you know, things happen in life. We make mistakes. That's what life's about. Sometimes we make good decisions. Sometimes our decisions are not as good. And I understand that. Um, His name is so, David, this was... Sorry. Can you hear me? Go ahead. And his name is Homer. I didn't hear what the last thing you said. Homer what? And his name is Homer Scott. 17 in age. Okay. So this isn't a minor under 14. It's a minor under 18. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good because the you know closer in being at the legal age, the the, the better you know an opportunity. Did he did he look like he was of age? Yeah. Did you know he was a minor? No, I did not. <clears throat> okay. So this happened on January 23rd. How did the police get involved? How did the, how did the, in, is, is this an FBI, is this a federal case or a state case? The FBI is in the middle of an investigation. It's ruining my life. Okay, but I'm trying to determine what next steps to take to help you. Are you looking for an attorney to go to court for you on the 22nd and help you with this thing? Uh-huh. Is this a state case or a federal case? Are you going to the federal court or the state court? I'm not sure. Pardon me? I, I'm, I'm not sure. Your phone's kind of cutting in and out, David. What's the best number for me to call you right back? And I'm going to call you right back. We've contacted the Upland Police Department about them doing this on our lines. Do you have another phone to call me on? No. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I heard you say that, but you were going in and out, like going far away from the phone and coming back. So you... You, this happened on the 23rd, and you were arrested the same day? Uh-huh. So what happened? The police came to your business? They came to your house? What, what was, tell me the story of what happened. Are, can you do that? Yes. And they're probably recording okay, go ahead. right now, adding to their uh, stuff. Okay. Well, then, David, do you have somewhere where you can call me on a private line? No. Because I'm just... You can't go somewhere and call me from... No. Why? Excuse me? What? I said, I, I said, pardon me? Well, because this goes on all the time. 
Oh, I understand, but if you're looking for some help from, from us to step in and try to help you with this particular case and possibly help stop all of this unfair investigation and surveillance, I need to find out what's going on. Do you want to come into my office in Encino? Okay. Well, that, okay. When can you come in? Um... Uh, um... Uh... This morning. When? Right now. Right now. Please. Okay. Um, I'm not in my office right now, but I can uh, I can come and, and meet you there, um, and I can be there um, a little a little later on this this morning. Um, probably like 12.30. Does that work for you? Come to my office. Where's your office, David? 147 North Euclid Avenue in Upland. Well, I don't think I can come down there. Hang on. Hang on just a second. Okay. <clears throat> Were you talking to me? 435 oh. West Mission. Where's that? What city? At the Pomona Jail. You're, are you in jail? No. You've been released, right? Okay. Yes. So how, your bail was 50000 David? Yes. What? Okay. I'm just trying to help you out here. Um, the bail you said was fifty thousand. Yes. Okay. And you're you bailed yourself out. Uh huh. Did they? Get, so you have a bail slip that says what the charge is. All bail slips note the charge. Two eighty eight A two forty three. What what is that charge? The penal code. I, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's the 760 number or the uh, the other number. <clears throat> well, just tell me what numbers are on that slip. 320-2279-61. Under, under PC? The penal code? Yes. Okay. Um, what's your birthday, David? November 22nd, 1961. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can find the, the code under which this is being charged. Um, and let me look at that for a minute, and I'll give you a call back here shortly. Do you have a cell phone or another number that belongs to you? No. Or another number I can call you on? Come to my office. Please. In Pomona? In Pomona? Five West Mission. Yes. And it's uh, it's called Herbert what Bail Bondsman? Tell me that again. This is uh Herbert Bellbines. Four thirty five oh. West Mission. Okay. Well, I'm quite a ways away from there, so I'm going to have to see what, what I can do time wise and I will give you a call back here shortly. You're at 310-878-8997? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, I see. I got it. Okay. Um, and it says, yeah, so this is close to, this is in Pomona. Okay. Let me give you a call back here shortly, David, and I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how we can help you out, okay? All right.
Thank you very much. All right. You're very welcome. You want to take down my name and number? All right. Ready? Go ahead. It's 818-309-9005. Thank That's you. my private line. And my name is Cynthia Fisher. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. You got it, David. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling customer support. This is Jesse. How can I help you? Hello there. Hi, sir. This, this is Jesse. Fred. How can... can I get some help, please? I'm sorry, sir. I'm a writer. Can I get some help, please? I was not able uh, to understand that, sir. Could you please repeat that? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. I can hear you now. I'm a writer. Can I get some help, please? Uh, yes, sir. How can we help you? But before that, can I have your name, please? This is Fred. Brad. And may I have your last name? Mike. Right. Is it W-R-I-G-H-T or just R-I-G-H-T? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Wright. Do you have a phone number in case we will be disconnected? I can give you a call back. The number is 909-595-2264. Thank you. Is it 909 or 919? Yes. Is it one, sir, or zero? 909-595-2264. Okay. okay, thank you. And uh, do you have any active email address? No. Okay, Ms. No. Red, uh, Mr. Wright, um, you mentioned that you need assistance to publish your book. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this the first time that you call our company? Uh-huh. Okay. In that case, sir, I'm going to transfer you to our one of our publishing consultants so that they can assist you further with regard to public publishing your book. Okay. Okay. So before I'll do that, is there anything else that I can help you with? No. Okay. Please stay on the line, sir. I'm going to transfer you to our publishing consultant. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Have a nice day. Please stay on the line. Hi. Good afternoon. Hello there. Hi, my name is Nina Lawson, sir. How are you? Just fine. That's nice to hear. So your name is Brad, correct? Yes. Okay. Is it okay if I'm going to call you Brad? Yes. Thank you. So what kind of book are you working on, sir? Bellbunch. Romance. Wow, interesting. What yes. inspired you to choose this kind of um, genre? I'm a bell bondsman. I'm sorry? I'm on YouTube and they prank call me all the time. Oh, okay. Yes. But is the book ready? Yes. How many pages total? Nine one eight. I'm sorry. Sixty one. Okay. Will you need someone to do the editing for you? Yes. Okay. And where did you save the manuscript? Do you have it on paper or on computer? Huh? Where did you save the manuscript, the book? Is it on paper or on yes. computer? I'm sorry? Yes. Okay. It's it's on paper? Uh-huh. Okay. Is it handwritten or typewritten? Walnut. 
Yes. Is it typewritten or handwritten? Yes. I mean, I'm giving you two options. Not a yes or a no is the answer. So I'm going to type in. So is it handwritten now, currently? Yes. Okay. Thank you for that. How did you get to learn about our company, by the way? How did you hear about Ex Libris? I checked in all of Los Angeles County. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Um, are you familiar with our company, how we work? No. Okay. Let me tell you, okay? Give me some more information. Yes. So we are a um, self-publishing company, sir. So we will be doing all the legwork for you. Is that right? So if yes, we will be the one to encode your manuscript into an electronic format if you have it on on paper right now, and of course we will do the layout and formatting, mm -hmm. and we will do the editing as well, so we will make sure that your book is error-free. Wow. So we will be checking on grammar, yes, spellings, punctuations, as well as syntax. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, if you want, we will be able to have it available in all formats. That's paperback, hardback, and ebook. Walnut. And um, we will take care of all the legal registrations needed. So your your copyright registration, your Library of Congress registration, as well as your ISBN. Okay. And we will have, of course, your book available worldwide, which will be through online channels like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Ex Libris Bookstore, and thousands of others. Turn on the That's TV. I'm sorry? Excuse me? Yes, what what did you say? I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything. What? Well, I'm not sure if I understand what you mean, sir. Give me some more information, please. Okay. Yes. So, also, we do uh, marketing and advertising for you. Thank you. So, the services that we're going to fulfill for your book will depend on the publishing package. So, we have publishing packages to choose from. How much? Um, well, the kind of book that you're working on, we have seven options. We have e-advantage, and that is at $499. We have basic package, and that is at $749. Our professional package is at $1,299. We also have custom, and that is at $1,899. Premium is at $3,699. We have executive at $7,000 and some change. And of course, platinum at fifteen thousand and some change. So the higher the package, the more services, marketing, and advertising you will get. Five hundred dollars. Yes. Okay. And of course, you do have the. Um, but if you need someone to do the editing for you. Um, the best way to go would be our premium package. Yes. Our premium package is usually at 3699 but right now we are offering that at half the price. That's 50% off. Wow. So from 3000 yeah, so from 3699 that's down to $1849.50. Okay. And that is payable in installments. You don't have to pay everything up front. We will need to add, though, a data entry service since your book is handwritten. Um, for 61 pages, that's going to be an additional $150. No. 
I'm sorry? How could they possibly do this? What do you mean? Why are you doing this, sir? I mean, we are helping authors to publish their books. We Thank are doing you. all the legwork for you. Okay. So the total package, the total cost is $1,999.50. This is payable. Christ. I'm sorry? What? Um, this is payable in three installments. Okay. Is this okay or you need another option? Yes. Okay. So another option is we could go if you don't want to, you know, have that premium package, we can go with a lower package, maybe our professional. Professional package is usually at 1299 with 50% okay. down to $649.50 because there's a 50% off, plus 150 for the data entry. The bill's $5,000. I'm sorry? What? Can you say that again? The bill's $5,000, correct? Can you say that Hello? Again? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Thank you. The bill's five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars? Say yes. Yes. Okay. So Thank you. You're I'm sorry? I said hi. Hello. So well, what's are going you on? interested in publishing the book? Or no? Yes. Okay. So uh, how much are you willing to invest for the book, if I may ask? $500? Um, we can do the $500, yes. That's totally okay. Um, but you will need to do the data entry yourself. Like, you need to encode your manuscript into a mic Microsoft Word format. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, and then this doesn't come with editing, so you will need to do the editing yourself. Is that okay? okay? Uh-huh. Okay, then we can go with our $499 package that's payable in three installments. What? So that's, or would you, yes. rather, would you rather pay it in full or in installments? 19. I'm sorry? 19. What's 19? Well, if you don't know, then then this is uh, BS. Why are you so mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. Okay. It's just that, I, it's just that I'm not sure what you're saying. $500? Are you going to pay the $500 in full or in installments? Yes. Installments? Yes. Okay. So the first payment is $196.34. Jesus Christ. Why are you why are you doing this? Doing what? Sitting or lying in the public ways. Is that you? No, I'm not lying. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. $500, please. What do you mean $500? Say yes. Why would I say yes? Just say yes. Hello? Yes, I'm here. 
Can I get some help, please? Yes, about what? I just told you. Help about? What's your grandma's name? I don't know. Why not? I don't know them. Well, first you need to give me his name. You need to give me his name, please. Well, I, d I don't know his name. Give me his name. Hello? Um, I do have... Yes, I'm here. Yes. Yes, no. No. Big pile of license plates. Do you remember that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Do you remember that? Remember what? Big pile of license plates. No, I didn't catch that. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Why are you so mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Thank you for calling 800 No Cuffs. This is Valerie. How may I help you? Hi. Hi, how can I help you? My name's Fred Herbert. I need to talk to a lawyer about bestiality. Okay, one moment, please. Thank you for holding. And is this going to be a criminal case? Were you charged with a crime? Yes. All right. And most of our clients come through us through referrals. Were you referred to us? Well. And how do, how were you referred? Through a friend, or did you see our ad on television? Gregory Stevens. All right. Thank you. And did the charge take place in California? Yes. Okay. And so you were charged with what crime? Bestiality. Right. And may I have your name, please? My name is Fred Herbert. Fred, F-R-E-D, last name H-E-R-B-E-R-T? Yes. And what is your telephone number? The number is 909-595-2264. All right, that's 909-595-2264. Do you happen to have an email address that I can note down? No. Okay. And when were you arrested? January 23rd. And what county? I'm in Upland. Upland. Is that LA County? Yes. And do you have a court date coming up? Yes. When is the court date? <clears throat> On the when? 22nd. 22nd of what month? July. All right, thank you. Let's see here. Um, give me one moment. I'm going to place you on hold so I can connect you with an attorney. Is that okay? Okay. One moment, please. Okay. Hi, Fred. This is Keith Pressman. I'm an attorney here at the firm. How are you? Just fine. Uh, what can I do for you? <clears throat> I got 25 years from doing bestiality. Okay, so you already got the 25 years? Yes. And when when were you sentenced? January 23rd. Okay, so what can I do for you? Can I get some help, please? Well, what are you looking to do? I mean, you've already been sentenced. That's the problem. You want to appeal it? I sure would like to put it into it. Okay. I mean, the appeals, I got to tell you, they're very, very seldomly are they granted. And they're, you know, did you go to trial? Yes. How long was the trial? 
two days ago. How long did the trial go? I'm not sure. You're not sure how long the trial was? No. Uh, can you give me an estimate? <clears throat> no. What's that? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can you give me an estimate approximately how long was the trial? No. What was it, over a week? Yes. Okay. Um, and, I mean, look, I mean, we can try to appeal it. Um, probably it's about $50,000 for an appeal. It's just in the ballpark. Wow. Um, and, and again, there, you, you know, that's a, just to give you a ballpark. It could be a little less, could be a little more, but typically these things are pretty complex. And to be honest with you, you know, they're seldomly granted. It's not like they're, you know, usually there's got to be some major flaw in the case to get a, a appeal granted. How could they possibly do this? I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, to, to, to appeal it, it's very, you know, it's a really complex process. And unless there was some major error, you know, it, it's not going to be something that's going to, you know, go through. What are they accusing you of doing? Bestiality. Aggravated sexual oh, assault with a uh, horse. Okay. And, and um, do you feel like there was any major issues with the trial? I mean, was there something? Did you have a public defender or did you have an attorney? Yes. You had a His name lawyer? is Homer Scott. Okay. Well, like I said, I, I just don't know if this is, you know, these things are, you know, really expensive. And like I said, they're, they're, they're seldom granted. But if you have something you want to explore, we can explore it for you. Um, yes. You know, we would take a fee of 7500 to, to to look at the case. And wow. if, if we decide that it is an appealable case, we can apply it to the overall fee. Please. Okay. Um, so what we would do is um, we would, you know, examine all the records. So did you get, did you hire an attorney or did you have a public defender? No, I did not. You did not what? Did you, did you have a public defender? Yes. Okay. Well, um, I mean, do you have the funds to hire an, an attorney? Yeah. Okay. Um, and like I said, I don't want to charge you the full amount up front because this might not be, all, you know, I don't want to take your money and then we decide that the, the appeal isn't, uh, you know, isn't something that's, uh, that's doable. You know, that the chances are very slim. So like I said, so we'll do the, the lesser amount. And then, like I said, if it, if it turns out that it, um, that it, you know, once we explore the files and get everything, if it looks like a case where we think we can appeal it, then we'll apply that 7,500 towards the main fee, you know? Okay. Um, so is this something you, you want to think about at first? Do you want to call me back? No. So you no. just want to get moving on it? Yes. When, when are you scheduled to go into custody? On the 22nd. On the 22nd. Okay. Um, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, okay. And I just want to make sure that financially this makes sense to you. So if we do the appeal, like I said, it could be as much as 50000 It could be as little as $25,000. Um, if we decide that we can do an appeal for you, is that within your price range? Is that doable for you? If $25,000. What, what's that? Uh -huh. So, so what, in other words, we take seventy five hundred now, and if we decide that we can do an appeal, it might be around twenty five thousand, or it could be more. Is that doable for you? If we do decide that it's it's doable, it, that we want it, that we can do it for you. Twenty five thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just just want to make sure. Um, Okay. Well, do, do you have a credit card handy? Do you want to give me a credit card and we'll get moving on it for you? Okay. Hang Thank on. You, sure. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure, sure it makes sense for you. Um, There's a lot of... Uh, are you sure, you know, I mean, are you sure you don't want some time to think about it? I mean, is this something you, you definitely want to move forward on? There's a lot of things in life that don't make sense. Yeah. I sure yeah. would like 
I sure would like to put an end to it. Okay. Did you feel like that you got a bad deal? I mean, you think that, the, I mean, did they, did they get you on something where the, did you feel like it was an unfair process? Like something yes. that wasn't done right? I'm not doing anything. Never been arrested Okay, so before. they got you for something you didn't do. Never been arrested before. Oh, boy. So this is really, this is the first time for you. And you got 25 years? That's what it is. Wow. Crazy. That's crazy. Um, okay, well, and like I said, we, we'll, we'll decide whether for that, for that first fee, we'll explore the case and see whether it makes sense to do a, a, an appeal. So we'll, you know, and if it does, then like I said, we'll make a, arrangements for the, uh, the, the remainder of the payment. But at least this will get us through to, to, to analyze it. Now, to be honest with you, we might analyze it and say, hey, you know, Paul, th th this is not, a, I mean, um, we might say, this might not make sense for you. Um, we might say, uh, you know, th th this is a waste of money. We don't want to waste your money, but we'll tell you an honest answer. But at least we can, for this money, we can explore it for you and we can uh, we can research it and see whether this makes sense to move forward on. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, now, do you have a um, do you have a, uh, a credit card that you want to put it on? Twenty five thousand dollars. Is that no, right? No, no, no. Just seventy five hundred for now. Seventy five hundred for now to 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 analyze the case for you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, if you All want right. to give that to me, that's fine. If you want us to do it, okay. Okay, do so. Do you have the credit card handy? The number is nine zero nine five nine five two two six four. And what's the? Oh yeah, go ahead. That's the number of the Walnut Jail. No, what's your credit card? Do you have a credit card number? No. Okay. Well, you want to call me back when you get a credit card, and we can charge it for you for seventy five hundred. Come to my office. What's that? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on one second. Hello, Fred. Hi. Hi. Um, you know what? I'm going to call you right back. Okay. I'm, I have to. This is an emergency. I'll call you right back in a minute, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you for calling Stockle of Law. My name is Nancy, and this call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Are Hello? You about aspects? Excuse me? Are you calling about asbestos? Yes. Thank you. One moment, please. And, sir, okay. is this the first time that you're calling us about this type of claim? Yes. Thank you. And we may have your information in our system already. Matt, please have your first and last name so I can verify. My name is Fred Herbert. Thank you. One moment, please. And could you kindly spell your last name for me? M-A-L-O-N-Y. M A N O R Y? Yes. Thank you. One moment, please. And first name Fred, F R E D, correct? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mannery. And I'm an intake advisor, and I have a few medical questions I need to ask about your potential claim. I will also obtain your contact information, and your claim will then be reviewed in further detail by our legal staff. And you're right. calling today for yourself or for someone else, please? My son. Your son? Yes. Thank you. One moment, please. And may I please have your son's first and last name? Mike. Herbert. <clears throat> that was Mike, M-I-K-E, Herbert, yes. H-E-R-B-E-R-T. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Thank you. And may I please have your son's date of birth? 1961. November I'm 22nd. Sorry, 
November 22nd, 1961. Thank you. Again, that's November 22nd, 1961, correct? Yeah. Thank you. And is he still living? Yes. Thank you. One moment, please. And has your son ever been diagnosed with cancer? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Has he ever been diagnosed with mesothelioma? a rare cancer found in the lining of the lungs, stomach, heart, or other organs? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that as well. And what was the date of the diagnosis for the mesothelioma, please? 320-2014. Thank you. That was... March 20th, 2014, is that correct? Yes. Thank you. And do you currently have an attorney assisting you with this matter? No. Thank you. If you would like to take the next step and have someone on our legal staff contact you, I will just need to collect your contact information. May I please have your mailing address? 435 West Mission. And the city, state, and zip, please. Come on, <clears throat> Can I'm you sorry, hear me? Can you please repeat? Come on, LA County. Los Angeles, is that correct? Yes. Thank you. And do you have the zip code? No. All right, thank you. And may I please have your home phone number beginning with the area code, please? The number is 909-595-2264. Thank you. That was 909-595-2264. Is that correct? Yeah. Thank you. One moment, please. And the address was 435 West Mission. M-I-S-S-I-O-N, yes. Los Angeles, L-O-S-A-N-G-E-L-E-S, -E -E California. And yes. you do not know the zip code, correct? Well. And do you have an email address you'd like to provide? No. Thank you. And is your son's mailing address the same or different than yours? 147 North Euclid Avenue in Upland. Thank you. One moment, please. And do you have the zip code for him? No. Thank you. I have 147 North Euclid, U, excuse me, E-U-C-L-I-D Avenue, Upland, U-P-L-A-N-D, California. Correct? Correct. Thank you. And may I please have your son's home phone number beginning with the area code, please? I'm not sure. All right, thank you. Uh, do you have an email address for your son that you'd like to provide? No. Okay, so no contact number for him either, correct? No. All right, thank you. All right, Mr. Bannery, I believe I have all the information I need for now, and here's what will happen next. I'd like to have this information reviewed by our legal team, and this may include member, members of other law firms in addition to Sokolov Law. Would you like to move forward to this next step? Yes. Thank you. One moment, please. And again, Mr. Bannery, I want to thank you for providing me with this information. I also want to refer you to our online Mesothelioma Resource Center. The website address is www.mesotheliomahelpnow.com, and it has information about resources, the latest news, as well as providing a place for people to ask questions and discuss their concerns. I would also like to provide you 
with our toll-free customer contact number so that you can call us again in the future if you have any further questions. And that number is 866-444-9876. Thank you. You're welcome. And Mr. Mannery, I'm now going to transfer you to one of our case managers so that you can give them some more detailed information with regard to your potential claim. This could take up to two minutes, but please do remain on hold, all right? All right. Thank you. What can I do for you? Walnut. Hi, Mr. Mannery. Hello. Hi, sir. My name's Lauren. I'm a paralegal here at Sokol of Law from Hawaii today. Just fine. Well, that's good to hear. I see that you're calling in regards to an asbestos claim for your son. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Well, if it's all right with you, I'd like to go through a few details here to see if we can help. Okay. Okay. And just to begin, I'd like to confirm his date of birth is November 22nd of 61. Correct. Okay, and now, from the information you provided, was he diagnosed with lung cancer? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. And that was approximately March 20th of 2014? Well, yes. Okay, sir. And now, did they specifically say what type of lung cancer he had? No. Okay. Um, now, I'm assuming they did a biopsy to confirm the cancer? Yes. Okay. And did he have any treatments? No. Did he have surgery? No. Okay. So... So he's gone a few years without any treatment or anything so far? Yes. Yes. Is there a reason why is there a reason why he hasn't had any treatment or surgery? There's a lot of things in life that don't make sense. Mm hmm. I'm not doing real good. I'm sorry, sir, what was that? I'm not in charge. Okay, sir. Well, I was just curious, you know, in some cases if there's an actual cancer diagnosis, you know, they might try treatment or did he, did he decline treatment? Uh-huh. Okay, so he declined treatment, but how is, how is his health then now? Not so good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is he on hospice or? Yes. Okay, and how long has he been on hospice for? Two years. Okay, and um, so did you just kind of check in with the doctor here and there at all or? Yeah. Okay. All right, now, do you by chance have any medical records with his diagnosis? Yes. Okay. Do you have them nearby or? No. Okay. Um, now, so they never gave a specific name to your knowledge? No. Okay, did they ever say this cancer had anything to do with asbestos? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so so what did they say about asbestos? I'm not sure. Sir? It's been a mystery to me. Okay, sir, so was he exposed to asbestos throughout his lifetime? Constantly. Okay, so where was he exposed? 
Copeland Police Department. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and what do you do at the police department? Valvanch. I'm sorry, what was that? Valvanch. Can you and hear me? What was his specific job? Bail bench. Bail bench. Bail bench. Bail bench. Was he a bail a bail bondsman? I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble yes. understanding. Yes. Okay, so he's a bail bondsman, and did he do that his whole life? Yes. Okay, and and was there asbestos in the building he worked in? Yes. Okay, and when he was growing up, what type of work did you do? I'm a bell bondsman. And your son was as well? Yes. Okay, so both of you worked in the same police department? Yes. Okay, and this was always in California? Yes. Okay, now did he ever serve in the military? No. Okay, so now did the doctors... I know you're not sure the exact name of the cancer. Did they ever mention the word mesothelioma? Yes. When did they mention that? I'm not sure. 2014. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did they mention the location of the cancer, where it was in the body? No. Okay, did they ever mention anything about the lining or the outside of the lung? Uh-huh. Okay, and did the cancer spread anywhere else in the body, to your knowledge? Yes. Um, okay, where did the cancer spread? Asshole. I'm sorry, sir? Can you hear me? He, yes. What was that you just said? Yes. So it spread to his rectum? Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Do you think you might be able to um, get a copy of any of the medical records you have so we can take a quick look at it with the diagnosis on there? Okay. Okay, perfect. So, um, do you by chance have access to a fax machine? No. Come to my office. Okay. I'm sorry, sir, what was that? Come to my office. Unfortunately, sir, we're not able to do that at this moment in time. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. okay. um, do you have email by chance? No. Oh, Kai, do you think, is there um, any way you could perhaps send that information in the mail? No. Okay, is there any way you could obtain a copy of the medical report and read off the diagnosis? Yes. Okay, that would be great. Now, also, sir, does your son know that you're reaching out to us here? Yes. Okay, great. So, so he's on board with everything? Yes. Okay, great. So, um, do you need a few days to try to, to find those records at all, or? Hang on, LeVar. Hang on just a second. I'm sorry. Sure. I am sitting in front of my computer. I don't find him. Sir? I'm sorry, sir. Were you trying to talk to me? We broke up there. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. I'm sorry. What were you trying to say? I don't find him. You don't find who? Mike? He's not I'm here. I'm sorry, sir? He's not here. Who's not there, sir? Mike? Mike, your son? Yes. Okay, sir. We're just seeing if you have any records that you could obtain. Are you... 
Do you have any in your possession? Is your son nearby? He's not here. Okay, sir. But you mentioned you do have some records. Is that right with his diagnosis on there? I'm going to have to call them because their website's down. Whose website, sir? Oh, the hospital? Yes. Yes. Okay, sir. So the... Do you think you might be able to get those records within the next couple of days? Yes. Okay, perfect. So how about I touch base with you if I don't hear back on Friday and, you know, whatever you have, you can read up the diagnosis and we can go from there. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mannery, now let me give you my direct line in the office here. All right. Okay, and my name's Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N, and okay. my direct line is 866-678-1773. Okay. Okay, now if I need to reach you, sir, is the best phone the 312-234-0781? Yeah. Okay, and then I have a secondary phone is 909-595-2264. Yes. And now um, I have your mailing address is 435 West Mission. Is that street or Ave? No. 147 North Euclid Avenue in Upland. Okay. And that, um, and is your, um, do you mind if I take down your zip code as well? No. Okay. 320-2279. Is that your, that's your zip code? I'm not sure. That's okay. I can look it up. That's not a problem at all, sir. So um, that's just fine. I will, you know, you can give me a call if you find that medical information. If not, I will touch base with you on Friday. Thank you. Thank you for reaching out to us here at Stockholm of Law Firm. I hope you have yourself a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Bye now.